Right, you guys got a quick video here for you on how to fix the laptop touchpad is not working problem now you can see here we've got no activity on our touchpad it doesn't really matter what laptop it is this is a common problem and I'm going to show you how to try and resolve it in this video now first place to look is on your keyboard you'll see an FN key there which is your function key and up the top here you'll see another key which is on the F uh, 1 to 12 sort of keys on this one it's F5 and it's uh, pointing towards enable the touchpad as you can see here and this is quite a common thing people uh, turn this off or they've touched it and it's now disabled the touchpad and they think the touchpad is broken another thing uh, that happens is when you plug in a mouse uh, the touchpad will automatically disable itself and then it won't work and sometimes it doesn't re-enable and then you think that the touchpad is broken another thing to do is get into device manager by typing device manager in search and you can see here we have our touchpad the driver is installed but it's not working you can actually search for an updated driver by going online and searching for a driver and driver software and see if there's a fix for that also you can come down to let me pick my own driver and select from here your touchpad driver and once you do this you click on next and it should hopefully install and start working if it's a driver issue so let me just go ahead and install the, the driver and the software here and hopefully uh, this resolves the problem it does take a bit of time you will have to reboot the system once this happens there we go Windows has successfully updated your driver software click close and restart your computer and hopefully this resolves your issue now if you're still having issues or it's still not working I'm going to show you a couple of other bits you can try before you actually understand that it's a, a hardware issue so go down to the search here and what we're going to do is type in here control panel Once we type control panel inside here, click on control panel here and this will open up our control panel window. Go into administrative tools here. This gives you a bunch of other stuff you can do from here. I'm just going to quickly type in here device manager again. Just because I want to show you another thing you can do with driver issues because it could be a driver problem and sometimes it's the wrong type of driver for a different model or it's corrupted or it's got an exclamation mark or something like that inside here this is a Windows 7 based system but you would do this in Windows 10 or Windows 8 go down to mice or other pointing devices and you should see the driver inside here you can either double click it and you should see the devices working properly go to driver and you should see a bunch of things like roll back your device uh, driver and that will basically roll back to the previous version if it was working then maybe you've installed a driver and it's now stopped working roll that device back you've also got uninstall where you can uninstall the driver and put in a brand new driver from the manufacturer's website or you have other options like uh, driver details here where you can click on this and it gives you the driver version the date and you can go and check to see whether there's any uh, updates for that driver also check your BIOS update on the website I'll show you that in a second another thing we can do is check the uh, mouse settings by going to the mouse in control panel so go open up control panel and go to the mouse uh, button here click on this one and this open up to the mouse properties go right to the end where it says uh, device settings inside here uh, you'll see um, an icon which you can look for which is enable mine is already enabled so it's now working but if it's on disabled click on enable and this is in case you don't have that FN key and F5 or other F10 or F11 whatever key it's using to enable and disable uh, that uh, touchpad okay so make sure you check the driver software inside here it's a very simple thing and it should be working you've also got your settings and other bits here and apply that and OK and you should be pretty much good to go and it should start working now if you're still having issues here you can also try uh, system restore by going back to a restore point and hopefully that resolves your issue uh, but inside here also you do have some other bits and pieces which you can take a look at like the uh, driver make sure the driver is installed correctly and it is working correctly 
you also get access here to all your rollback and uh, uninstall and driver details and stuff like that from this location as well so what we need to do here is I'm just going to quickly go here and do a quick search for driver updates and see whether it detects any sort of update if it does it will install it and uh, this can sometimes be a common issue where people have installed an old driver or an old drivers on there and something's happened it's got corrupted and you now need to uh, update the driver and sometimes putting an updated driver doesn't work very well with that laptop and you may need to uninstall and roll back to an older version and that's a very common thing as well once you've done any driver updates you need to uh, reboot the computer now another thing you can do is go over to the website of that manufacturer's uh, make a model of that laptop type it into their support page and it will give you all the drivers and updates uh, for that laptop check your BIOS make sure it's up to date and also check any other um, updates for the touchpad or anything like that that may uh, be outdated any sort of uh, chipset drivers install those and make sure they're fully updated and working okay and you should be pretty much good to go from there if you're still having issues you may need to try a fresh install and if a fresh install doesn't work and the you've got the same problems going on then it may be a touchpad hardware issue and you may need to uh, resolve that by replacing it or getting it repaired okay and sometimes this does happen but you need to determine whether it's a software related issue or whether it's a hardware related issue and these are the software related things that you can try before replacing it anyway hope this one's been helpful to you my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos Thank you.